Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we are gonna talk about a quick function in the Keyshot to make your rendering look more realistic with the softened edges. Are you ready? Let's get started. This is the model that I published last week um, for the B chain. So if we take a look on the perspective view and put it in the render, as you can see, the edge is pretty sharp. A lot of the time you need to make your render look nicer. The way to do it is to giving a fit edges, for example. We are going to give something pretty small, like 0.2 millimeter. And we're gonna pick up the edge here here, here all the way, and it will give it around edges there. As you can see, now it's catching light better, and you can apply to all of them at once. It might take some time to calculation. Unfortunately, sometimes it might give you an error, especially if you have a seam there. So we're gonna talk about if you need fitted edges for casting. Something really small like this, and if it's everything is rounded and your computer is pretty quick, you can simply just go there and using the fillet edges and then you select everybody at once and hit enter. It take a good two minutes to round it off all the edges like that. And as you can see on the render, it will look much nicer compared to one. It doesn't have the fillet. However, if you have fillet, it's too big and you might have error. Let's go back one step and we want to fill it again this time. Let's try 0.5 millimeter on all the edges here. And as you can see, because the fillet edge is too big, I believe everybody have this awful experience. So if the piece doesn't need rendering, you actually don't need to fit it all the tiny edges because after casting and polish, the edge pretty much will be rounded with the small radius. But if you need to do the rendering and you don't like to do all the fitted, this is the way that we are going to do. So in the key shot, uh, we have a model import and we set it up the lighting and we have the material already applied. As you can see, the edge is really sharp here. So you can come in over here and select your model. So everything will be highlighted into this uh, orange border. Then you're gonna come in into the button that you have a property position and also the material right here. We want to choose on the property. Under the property, you have round edges there. So I'm going to give it a try for 0.5 millimeter and hit enter. So really quickly, it will give in a impression of a round edges. And of course, 0.5 is a little bit too big as you can see it might having a little bit kink over there but because it's a high reflecting material so it actually doesn't see that much right uh, if you feel like the kink is too big you can change to point two or something like that but the way to having the light hitting on any of the fitted edges it will catch the light it will make your real rendering more realistic and that's how i get this image on the left compared to the image to the right. I hope you enjoy this uh, small tips on rendering. Let me know how you like it. And thank you for watching. I will see you next.